Welcome on back to the channel everybody and to the awesome great outdoors. We are here at the deer lease. It is time to do some turkey hunting. Hopefully on this trip we're going to be able to get my first turkey ever. I don't know what it is y'all. I've been out plenty of times, especially the last three years I've gone out. I have been unsuccessful. I think part of the problem is I go for a day or two and then the, the turkey's off and then I get to thinking about all these bass that are up in the shallows. I get all excited and I'm like, oh, I'm going back to fishing. I can't, I can't stand it any longer. Another challenge I've been presented this year is actually finding a shotgun shell uh, for turkeys to be able to go to go hunting. I, I've got uh, plenty of dove loads at home. I've, I've been to a bunch of different places trying to find some turkey loads. I'm very limited uh luckily i got uh, my buddy mullet man he's coming up here i think he's gonna have have some shells hopefully if not i'm gonna have to use my bow just pulling up here within 30 minutes i've already heard gobblers off over the ravine over here that is more action than i have seen in three years of turkey hunting here at the lease i've deer hunted i've, I've pig hunted out here um, we've seen turkeys on cameras we've heard them while we've been deer hunting and things like that so we know that there's turkeys out here one of the first things i'll ask you on this video uh if you guys watched my previous videos with jimmy houston going up to his ranch uh man great great guy great family Really, if you guys don't know his wife, Chris, uh, both of them are in the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame and she actually had a stroke recently. So I would just ask that you put Chris into your prayers if you're uh, of the praying type. Second thing I'll ask is check out all the new Dangler merch at GuggenSquad.com. We got a bunch of new Dangler gear up there. And if you guys want to get anything on GuggenSquad.com, it is 10% off. Use code LFG. Now it is time to at least go get a little preview of what's happening out here in the woods. These things right here, snake gators. I just bought some, I hope they daggum work because there are some rattlesnakes out here and I hope we don't run into any. Uh, one of my biggest worries is finding a turkey, gobblers coming in, you're sitting on the ground, base of an oak tree, and then all of a sudden you look over and there's a rattlesnake crawling right next to your butt. It happens in Texas, y'all. So let's get out there in the woods. Let's look for some antlers. Let's listen for some gobblers. Keep in mind, I also suck at calling, so they maybe won't respond to this. But I've got a box call in my, my pack, too. <laughs> okay, nothing doing. First bit of action, armadillo butts. Wouldn't be Texas without some armadillos around. Ooh. I was thinking these oak trees might be a good nesting spot, roosting spot for them. I haven't seen any feathers yet. I see lots of old rubs. It's like a good spot to find some antlers. That is a deer right there. Is that a deer? Is that a cougar? No, that's a cactus, okay. False alarm. Where I heard the gobblers was not far from here, so I'm gonna give it a, another shot. <laughs> that's just fun to do. Obviously they want nothing to do with what noises I'm making. Here's the box blind where I got my big deer this year. And the infamous pond deer was hanging around here for a while. But there's these nice open areas. I think this is where I heard those turkeys earlier. The pond is just back in there. Yeah. 
third armadillo spotted. Little buddy, just getting some grubs. Some yellow gummies. Have you seen any turkeys, man? Can you point me in the right direction? Okay, you're a weird little creature. It appears that there is a water source here that I did not know about. This is a spring coming out of the ground right here. It runs down, eventually goes to the lake down there. Huh. Hidden spring. Well, turkeys will be turkeys, am I right? I'm apparently doing something wrong. So I didn't hear any gobbles. Um, maybe it was my position up here on this ridge. I could just hear so good. But I felt pretty confident I was in the same area. You know, I walked a good, you know, half a mile, maybe a, no, probably even like a mile down there and back. They have quieted up. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to kind of chill here. I'm going to build a fire. And I'm going to wait till I hear them again this evening, hopefully. Hopefully I hear them this evening and then I can really pinpoint and then we're going to get up and do this thing in the morning. So we'll, uh, we'll keep the shotgun ready just in case something crazy happens. Uh, they come out here. Um, I know we've seen them on uh, feeder cameras as well, but um, I think they're really going to utilize these open areas out here. That seems like where they were around and uh, maybe I just need to get out the binos, you know, do a little glassing, do a little listening this evening but no sheds either just no luck at this moment all right i got a little oak from home it's part of what i do when i'm messing around with knives i just uh you know i split wood i i make feather sticks stuff like that uh tenders i keep them in here i mean they stay super dry so anytime i need them they're going to be uh, ready to go. We've had a really dry couple of weeks. So I went ahead and split some ash the other night when I was playing around with a new knife. It's really funny. Emmy comes out there and she plays with these sticks too. Like she has the same obsession. But uh, I usually get a knife every month, by the way. It's an S45 VN steel, which uh, I didn't own. So now I own one. And I w one of the things I wanted to see with it is how, how good it would strike fire steel some cedar from home. I'm just going to crunch this up. Some people might think this is a like a pain in the butt part of camp, but I, I love it. I, I like not carrying any gasoline or any, uh, you know, like normal fuel sources to light big fires. I just like, I like lighting them like this. The old fashioned way. It's a good way to do it. It's good it's good skill to learn. Come on, there it is. I'll take it. Woo! She going. That is a gorgeous sight right there, y'all. Campfire lit, sun going down, and as sure as I sit here before you, we got our second sign of turkey. That happens to be a turkey feather sitting right here at deer camp. There's a whole lot more about 10 yards away. So apparently someone has gotten a turkey out here. So I'm gonna just sit here Look at this turkey feather, and I hope that that is going to be me tomorrow morning, and just enjoy my my banquet beer and Dad gum it. As a 35 year old man, I'm ready to get, <laughs> I'm ready to get my first turkey in life. So please give me a little like button, give me a little positivity comment right now, give me something, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, it is time, ladies and gentlemen. 
So we're going to hop in the ATV. We're going to go uh, listen a little bit. Uh, Mullet Man is here. He's got a buddy Ben here uh, as well. Both looking to get some, some turkeys. And uh, so, so we're going to have a little teamwork because, okay, gosh dang, we got to go. All right, I'm going to grab my shotgun. It's time to go. Let's do it. Turkeys. I forgot my camera back at camp, so I had to go back and get it all the way back. It's blurry, I apologize. We heard turkeys where I thought I was hearing them yesterday, and it sounds like they're just coming off the roost. So we're in a hurry. We're going to try to get on them and shoot one in the face. I think we need to go farther. Bro, I think he's he's like up in those oak trees. I think I think we should get to that deer blind, the box blind. Yeah, honestly, anywhere out in here or over there, if we went up over there and got on that right side. Got Ben here next to me. What? Mullet man. Gobbler on the ridge. Let's give her a dangle. He's coming. He's, he's coming.
Ready? Yes, sir. Oh, gosh, dude. I couldn't. That was, that was so awesome. Holy cow. That thing came in. And I was like, he's going to spot us. He's going to spot us. I was about to tell you to turn and shoot. I know. I was like, should I turn around and shoot? Should I turn around and shoot? He comes in. He looks at all three of us. And he's like, no, I, I want that other thing. Hey, talk about sweet footage. <laughs> Dude, he came right by us. That was so <laughs> sick. Did you get him? Or yeah. We... Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. dude go, was... go check out your first Texas Tom, dude. Dude, this is awesome. And he was attacking the decoy. I, I was like, I, I, I want, I want to film this. This is so cool. I didn't want to shoot him right away. Oh. That other bird's close. Let's grab him and see if we can keep calling. Set Holy my decoy cow, back up. Man. Yes, baby. Four years. That's Four awesome. years turkey hunting, my first turkey. He smoked him. Not a giant, but I'll take him. Oh, that's a good turkey. Look at that, man. <laughs> Ruin the decoy. Holy cow. Two year old bird. <sighs> well, buddy, you were fun to watch. You were fun to watch. All right, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna drag it back and see if we can get another one to come in because there's definitely another gobbler. See, he's a two-year-old bird, he's not a Jake. Nice. That's <laughs> so cool. Dude, he kicked the out of that thing. That was crazy. <laughs> All right, we'll stuff him back here. There we go. See him. Get your gun off. Don't move. Three of them. Put it on fire. Oh my gosh. Just check to make sure it's chamber. Yes, sir. Heck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boys. <laughs> double. <coughs> Texas double. Dude. Gun, <laughs> gun jammed. Got a new gun while they were sitting there. My gun's so rusted, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Dude, that was a long shot. Good job. Thanks, man. Oh. <laughs> What a freaking rodeo. What a hunt. Okay, so I have gone from literally like four years of just total suckage to the, to, best, to the best 10 minutes of turkey hunting in my life. That was wild, dude. Those birds are good, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude, they must have been roosted earlier. 
Like they were yeah, just all sitting I think in a tree. Them at the same spot they were yeah. yeah. Double down. They finally got down. I mean, that's not bad for like an hour hunt. Hey! Yeah! Oh my goodness sake, you're tired. Yeah. Get up. They're a little big. Heck yeah, what a start to a morning, y'all. My first turkey ever. Beautiful Rio Grande turkey. You know, not, not a Mondo, but uh, probably going to be one of my most memorable turkey turkeys of my life. Just because of the, the way it came in, I thought we were going to get busted. And we just sat there and it walked right by us. And then having those, those other three come in and uh, <laughs> gun jam, we had to switch guns. It really worked out. Coming up here uh, yesterday and then hearing where those turkeys were coming from, the exact area, I don't know how I didn't run into them yesterday because I walked all through there. And uh, they were pegged up there this morning. We got them down. So uh, I believe Mike is, you're going to try to get one with your. Oh no, either the recurve or the 410. I've literally waited years for this to happen. I've, I've hunted the last two years with Mike. Um, and, uh, you know, he goes out and kills kills one the first opening day. And he's like, dude, let's go in there. They're on fire. And then I get down there and it's just silence. This year, out opening week, got one. Wah bam, baby. Good times. <laughs> that is a strange looking bird. Golly, look at the dangler up top. Look at that. What do they call that thing? A waddle? A snood? Uh, on a chicken, it's called a comb. But I can see a bird. Don't know. No, I have. Last time I Big I feet. Know. Just little pterodactyls. They are, really. <laughs> look how pretty that is. Beautiful coral and uh, eggshell blue. All right, so Mullet Man says he's got me a gift. I've been telling you We're for back a year, here at camp. I'm gonna make you one, Mr. Knife Guy. Dude, did you do it? Oh my gosh, that is so badass, brother! Holy cow! Tied to your collection. God, you did like, this yourself. Yeah, I was like, man, I've been telling him I'm gonna make him a flint knife for a year. Dude, hey, thank you, man. That is awesome. Is this a is this a shed you found? Uh, fallow, yeah, fallow shed. Holy cow, fallow, and that's probably a, a good four inch. This is a special one for my collection, y'all. Look at that LFG in there as well. That is super badass, man. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Mold man just got done cleaning the turkey. This is my first one I've ever done. Oh yeah, you have to clean your first turkey. Right. Right, got to do it. Um, the one we just cleaned had had some injuries, which is crazy. It was like green inside, but I, the way I'm thinking, correct me if I'm wrong, and walk me through this here, dude. But like a dove, but you got some extra skin to yep. get through. You can't just like peel yeah, apart you, you with gotta your cut your first little initial. All right, so you got to think, guys. These things are in the wild. Just it's easier. Savages. It's easier if you get that tail out of the way. Oh, go ahead and get just, the tail. Yeah, just so you're not crunching it up. All right. right. So, so step one. How far do we go back in so here? So I always grab Probably it like layers. this and start cut from the back. Oh, from from the bottom. Yeah. So rear end. Yep. Feel and that. We're just feel that find. big hump. Yep. Just cut on that hump, and then you'll your knife will find where it needs to go. My hump. My lovely turkey humps. Check it out. Chicken. Now come from the side and just cut across. Yeah. Yeah. The knife will find its place. Perfect. Dude. Let's see it. This is the fan. Beautiful. And I'm a fan. And that will like, so whenever I uh, do the turkey fans, you actually like wet them down with soap and water mm -hmm. and then blow dry them. And when you blow dry them, all these little kinks will just go to perfect. <laughs> Dude, you just know the ways. Yeah. The ways. Um, okay. Beard. So, so we got our beard, which, you know, this isn't a real old turkey, but uh, he's still got a little beard action, so I'm gonna cut it just right about there. And 
and uh, you know, maybe inches. save that for a little, little paintbrush or a hairbrush for something, right? Make a little, change. make oh. a little leather tassel and hang it off the end of your knife. Dude, a dangler for yeah. it. Good idea. I like where your head's at. All right, and now we'll get into the tasties. So I'm just gonna make a little cut here, run it up. And hopefully that's gonna come apart. We're not gonna get too feathery. Let's see if this works out like a dove or not. Yeah, just peel it. Put some muscle into it. There we go. Looks like we got a decently healthy bird. Oh yeah, nice healthy leg. That's what they're Kind of want to take the whole thing, but I don't know. The skin's coming off a little easier than I anticipated. Young bird, you might be able to. I'm just gonna have to get around the wing. Yeah, you cut the wings off. Cut that wing, and then we've got all the other innards and everything. Now, for those new to turkey hunting, when we're aiming at a turkey, you're shooting them in the face. You know, it's one of the the few animals that you just, you go straight at that noggin and pull the trigger. Um, and you don't want to ruin your meat. Looks like we got a couple of pellets up here. But, uh, I mean, they got a thick old tough neck and head and they're a, they're a tough bird, so anyway, just if you're new to it, that's where you that's where you aim. You gonna tan that hide? There we go. <laughs> Take it to the taxidermist, baby. It's ready. Turkey cape. Yeah, that is the turkey cape, essentially. Yeah. And uh, here's what we're left with: Get these feathers here. Shake your little tail feather off here, buddy. Just got to get some of the um, some of the innards out, and then we'll be able to take that home to the fam. Throw it on the pellet grill and uh, have some deliciousness. I've got the whole daggum caboodle right there. So I took the the innards out. It's all nice and clean. It's ready to be cooked. Uh, I'll probably end up taking these legs off a little later when I throw it on the smoker and maybe do something separate with those because. I know they're just really tough meat, but uh, this is the uh, filleted version. That's Mike's right there. Those are for later. So literally after years of turkey failure, finally come out here and get it done, man. And it worked out so perfect. Where we heard those birds last night, they ended up being there. They weren't monsters, but they came in in the coolest way possible. And it was just an awesome, exciting morning. So I uh, hope you guys learned a little something about turkeys and you gotta smash that like button for turkeys coming in. Finally, success, success. I've been wanting to do this uh, here, just for myself, but also on this channel for, for many years now. So finally got it done, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And we're gonna be doing some more turkey hunting. So if you wanna stay tuned for it, you know what to do. Subscribe right here and we'll see ya on the next one.